Hi students, this is Vijay Avad. In this session, we are going to discuss the second part of Unit 5 in Professional Ethics in India. The topics we are going to see here is in this slide is Computer Ethics. In all MNCs, we need computing professionals. These professionals have to do the work in ethical manner so that the information they are dealing which are very confidential should not leak out to the outer environment and the equipments that they are handling should be ethically biased. Ethical usage of the equipment should be properly done by these computing professionals. As said in the slide, computing professionals should make decisions with respect to the professional in which they are working and social conductivity. There are seven essential components of personal code of computer ethics. One is, first one, uh, <coughs> They have to be very honest, respect, confidentiality, professionalism, responsibility, communication, and obeying the law of company or the organizations. You can see that the ethical hacker, they penetrate networks and they hack the systems or find out security vulnerabilities and unauthorized hacking. So these people, ethical hackers, they do all kind of unethical activities. But they are computing professionals. If their job is to hack something bad means they can do. But hacking the important confidentiality and important documents from other server or computing devices is unethical. They should maintain their social contact and they should feel that they are one of the component in building the society. They should follow the etiquette and they should ensure that safety is given to the customers when they deal with customer data. The next topic is weapon development. The creation, develop, the creation and development of military technology is possible by the engineers who use advanced technology. But even then, they should bear some responsibility for the consequences of their own creations. If AK-47 is made, they ensure that they should use that AK-47 rifles only for their safety purposes. These engineers face a multitude of ethical dilemmas. They should understand that their primary aim is to increase the capability of the weapon, but they should not use that weapon to harm their own people or any wealth in that society. The weapons should be used only for self-defense. It should help in the minimizing the casualties and have applications in both domestic and international conflicts. If there is any threat happen to their homeland, they can use that weapons for their safety purposes. But they should not use their, own, their weapons against their own people. So the, all the government should use their weapons for their safety purposes and not to harm their own people. Next engineers role as managers. Managers always monitor, they motivate the team members to work for the organization rules. Managers mostly they have to consider the opportunities and rewards given to the employers, employees, so that they can work together to achieve the goal. 
and also they should use the punishment activities to extract work from the non cooperative employees they should often conduct meetings they have to effectively communicate what is the requirement and they have to review how the process how the team is working on the project they have to supervise they have to give instructions they give they have to give directions if there is any obstacles or any discrepancies happen in the team or in the course of actions they have to solve that disturbances and they should keep the environment like to complete the objectives the manager should also know the technical concept so that they can co have a cooperation with the technical team members now the engineers as consulting consultants while doing the consultancy work the engineer should understand the ethical behavior the code of ethics about the company about the product and what are what are the customer expectations they should understand they can perform services only in the areas of their competence they can issue public statement only in an objective and truthful manner they act for each employer or their client as faithful agents now this slide shows the engineers as expert witness and advisor